What is up, horror fiends? Welcome to another episode of the Horror Junkies podcast, the podcast that discusses all things horror. As always, I'm your host, Mike, and I'm joined with my ghoulish friend, Patrick. Hello. And Dylan's not on this episode because he's being a lame So instead, <laughs> we have invited our coolest boys, our fiendish camp counselors, over from Creepy Camp, Sean and Chandler. Hello. Hello. Nice hey, to see doing? you. Welcome to the show. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you for having us. This has been a long time coming. Uh, yeah. I think we've been talking about this for years, and we're just yeah. now making it a thing. But what not a great episode to do it, because we're moving on with our Friday, you know, our Nightmare on Elm Street, Friday the 13th marathon, and the boys are at camp, and we got to be guided through our camp from our camp counselors. So. I'm just letting you know, it's not a safe camp to be at, <laughs> because everyone's dead, so... You know that's the kind of camp I prefer. So honestly. that's the that's the camp I want. The one that no one's actually there, and there's just like hidden. Oh, bodies. you mean CKY? Exactly. <laughs> nice. Can't kill yourself. Let's go. Damn um, internet. <laughs> and Who's got a skateboard? The, the, the riff just starts playing. In oh, the back absolutely. Hundred percent. Um, but no, welcome to back to another episode, guys. If you're new here, we hope you enjoy the episode. Make sure you subscribe to our channel, but also go over and check out in the show notes below. Uh, for a creepy camp, and they do all of their weird content on their TikToks. That's where you'll find them doing their funny videos. Um, videos. And I think you guys primarily do video podcasts, right? You guys primarily do. Well, we just videos. so we upload it to Anchor, so you can obviously view yeah. the video version. But then it's, I mean, yeah. Then I guess you're right because yeah, I mean, you guys always post videos. Maybe if it's on Spotify, they just close their eyes, and then it's audio only. <laughs> yeah, you can listen to Chandler's <laughs> soothing voice go. <laughs> oh man, today's gonna be a weird episode. And I can't fucking wait. It's gonna be a fun time. Don't mind uh, the random noises I make on a consistent basis. <laughs> it's okay. That's the autism. <laughs> the the <tism. laughs> ah! Wow. Oh uh, man, unprofessional. Get off the show. Cl- yeah, close it. Close his cam off. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot my phone is connected to Listen. my Mac, so yeah, it rings. It's all good. Uh, Patrick has failed many times to the <laughs> alarming, an alarming amount of uh, fucking chimes that come from that man's phone is horrific. Um, but before we get into the news, before we get into the fucking meats and potatoes of this episode, we're gonna hit you guys with a question we ask all of our guests, and oh, we no. did not prep you for this. Oh god! So, off the top of your head. <laughs> Shoot them one through five. Top five horror movies. Go. Five? Chan's going to have an issue. Yep. <laughs> Evil Dead 2, oh, Dawn of the Dead 78. Uh, God damn top man. five. Um, you you're, already, you're already down two. <laughs> yeah, I'm already down two. Those are the easy answers every time. <laughs> Yours is um, easy. You have a top five. I don't. Yeah, but the, like, the other three change a lot. Yeah, yeah that's, that's um, always an issue for us. You don't, They're constantly you, changing. You know what? Fuck me. Hold on. Uh, um, uh, I got a legitimate. Deadstream made my top 10. It's not top five yet. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I know. Cause they change a lot. Um, uh, oh, I'll just uh, use my letterbox thing because I'm a genius and I made them that way. Lists. Because I can't remember any fucking movie I watched. Um, the Burning. Okay, The Burning. Good, good. American Psycho's in top five. Okay. Are these in order? And we'll put we'll put no, Hereditary the in there. Sure. Hereditary? Yeah, yeah. no uh, order. Just to find, uh, like, five movies that you find, you rewatch all the time. Um, Chandler doesn't movies. have a top five because he doesn't rewatch things. Yeah. I have a weird habit to where I rarely rewatch movies. I'd always try to find something to watch new that I've never seen. Um, That's so. Good, though. Mine's, let's see, I Saw the Devil, Okay. Hereditary, mm-hmm. The Lost Boys, Nice, Eden Lake, and What's Five? Uh, uh, yeah. Chuckles the Clown goes uh, to the zoo. Ar- Ar- Open House. No, oh, fuck you. Um, <laughs> uh, arguably, it's arguably either Wreck or Martyrs. Uh, no, no, it, it's actually Exodus Believer. Yeah. Incredible film. That, <laughs> Incredible. Wait, 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 wait. Ready? Incredible film that neither of us ever watched. Good. Yep. Uh, Good. We watched it, and I can only say that I wish that my eyes could have been ripped from my skull. 
Fortunately, oh. we got to go see When Evil Lurks instead. You know, you, you man, know. what a good choice. <laughs> <laughs> I still haven't seen that yet. Oh, we were dude. only we were the four people in the theater. It was us three and some random guy that happened to speak Spanish that was translating the movie during the movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was love that. That's it was. Oh yeah, we never did our top ten on TikTok, did we? Wow, yeah. we're great. We're great. We're great content. You guys creators. do. A great job at your content. Thank you. Phenomenal. We're trying. <laughs> Not lately. <laughs> lately we suck ass. Well, yeah. Fro's been on top of it. I have it. Hey, what do they um, expect from a bunch of horror fiends, you know? Exactly. I mean, come on. It's fucking got honey bun glaze pumping through our goddamn arteries. We can't ex- be expected to do too much. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's what I call Fro in bed is honey bun glaze. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> but no, what a great fucking selection. I mean, I can't tell you right now the top five. It's always The Witch. It's always Hellraiser. And then it spirals down into like whatever I just consumed and watched. But like, I just That's... watched like the 2010 Wolfman. Is The Witch. What, Benicio? Uh, yeah. Solid. So, like, the Witch solid is your top? <clears throat> like your oh, very yeah. top? Oh, yeah. Really? Interesting. Yeah, dude. Okay. The Scream is up there. Um, the Scream. But Scream, I should say. Scream is up there. And then fucking. What's recently that I've just watched that I really enjoyed? Um, Kill All the Neighbors? That was, uh, that was uh, a fun Destroy movie. All Neighbors? Destroy yeah. All Neighbors. Yeah, that was a fun fucking movie. The question is, have you watched porno from 2020? Dude, if you... No. Whew, if you want to grab your balls in pain, right? <laughs> um, so take Terrifier 2's sequence okay 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 what's another movie with a really ba- uh and also and uh bone tomahawk sequence okay. yeah and uh, terrifier terrifier 2 bone tomahawk okay yeah i know so where we're going with yeah this. All, basically all the dick ripping scenes right so Fuck yeah uh amplify that by like 20 and close up <laughs> so what you're telling me is pretty much it is a it's a feature film of the BME Pain Olympics. No, it's literally Phantom it's, of the, no 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 it's it, Phantom of the Megaplex, right? Okay, it's okay. Horror film meets ball tourniquet. God. Yeah, and up close I ball tourniquet. That. And the thing is, we went into the movie blind. The movie's funny as hell. It's oh, great. It's God. just that up close ball tourniquet. Is is yeah. Phantom Pain City, baby? <laughs> I cannot. Like, yeah. I'd rather watch BME. I think. <laughs> oh, Jesus, that says a lot. Yeah, yeah. That sounds like a badass movie. So uh, maybe it's uh, Pat. It's one of those things we're gonna have to uh, make, make Dylan watch. Uh, Dylan watch. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I don't <laughs> even want to know what, what the stapler the... means. I don't. I don't no, want to no. know. Oh, I was gonna. I was gonna use the stapler to staple objects to a table. Oh, they're not mine. Like, I'm like not worried about it. <laughs> not my balls. <laughs> my Chandler balls. said he'd rather watch BME, so we're gonna do real life BME. Oh shit, that's true. <laughs> I can go get the scissors if you want. Make that a uh, what else do I have in his office? Uh, this little. Well, make sure you're tan. Pin. I guess. Wait, wait, for what was the uh, what was the bowling one we watched recently? Um, uh, last night at something uh, lanes. Something lanes. Yeah, it's y'all, the um. Y'all would love that one. It's uh Adam Cesar who wrote. Clown to Cornfield, that's the movie he wrote. Oh, okay. And it's it's sick. It's Is, just I think I've seen something on like TikTok or Instagram it's not maybe. slapstick comedy, uh-huh. but it's just fun. Okay. Gotcha. If you've yeah. seen any B slasher, it's that, but in a bowling alley. Yeah. Well, yeah. We, I'm actually really surprised to it. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I'm actually really surprised. I don't hear many people say the witch is their favorite of all time, so it's interesting. I fucking to me. love the witch. I and love I can Robert give Eggers. You very quick why. Why? Loves goats. The, the <laughs> fact that it creates such an atmospheric <laughs> element, and like that is what amplifies the horror of the movie. Not so much like anything else going on, but it's the 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 so, surrounding of being alone, uh, the internal struggle of a struggle of a family. Uh, you know, the patriarchy, patriarchy, the 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 unknown of the woods. Like it does such a phenomenal job of storytelling, of building characters, of setting scenes, using sound design to pull uh, play with you. I, I just love that movie. Do you tend it's to just, like like a lot of horror like period pieces? Oh, one hundred percent. I Do think you, those movies are a lot of fun. Have you seen the Nightingale? Not yet. But so I, I want to. Jennifer Kent, like she did the Babadook, right? And mm-hmm. so that's her other film. The Nightingale opening sequence, like the first ten to fifteen minutes, is arguably some of the just most disturbing, nastiest shit I've ever seen. Yeah. <laughs> Not in like a bloody, gory way, just the human aspect of how the fuck can you do that to anything? Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. But that's like a really good sort of like period piece that's sort of yeah. like that too, and it's really good. Period piece horror is not done all the time, so when it's done and it's done well, it has to be done it's, it's really, really well. It's really fun. Like, and I just bought uh, that Somna 
yeah. which comic book. Um, wait, I'm going to pick it up on uh, during the week, but um, but yeah, man, I fucking love Peter Peace Horror. It's the wait, shit. Have either? Wait, did both of you say you haven't seen Winnie the Lurks or only? Oh, I man, haven't. I watched it. I was about to say because I mean, I like. I mean, both have a black Philip in it technically. Yeah, um, exactly. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, Winnie the Lurks also sort of gives that element to it as well. It's not necessarily a period piece, but the cultural aspect of it's there. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. it's it's very cool like that. The the yeah. last period piece one I actually enjoyed was the the curse, the, the werewolf curse? one. Mm. Okay. Not not the not the Wes Craven movie. The one that came out like I think like two years ago <laughs> last year. I don't, I don't think I saw it. No, to where we'll I, I know I didn't piece. see it. Can we count Apostle as a period piece? Absolutely, one hundred. Absolutely. Okay, good. Because the head drill rocks. Yeah, that movie. That movie's awesome, and I think it slept on. I don't think it, it had enough fucking praise. That shit uh, hurts my head and, thinking about it. Yeah. Um, but fuck yeah, let's get into this episode. Before we do anything, Pat, as always, what the fuck's going on in the horror world? There's always something going down. We something got a release announced. date for the oh. new Crow reboot with Bill Skarsgård. Boo. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> June 2024. I just don't think that's a movie you should not touch. I'm well, not going to see it. And look, the movie has been going. It went through like what? Three different actors to play the crow? <laughs> yeah. Until we, until we scored with Bill Scorch. I mean, the movie's who, been who, going was, through, bef- who was before Bill? <laughs> Jason Momoa. Jason Momoa was in it. Yeah. Which I, you know, Jason Momoa. Which I'm play. glad that he's out because. It's not fitting at all. Huge hulking man. Like I don't. He, he's never been that. Like he's always been like, the scrawny, yeah. no. lean cut person. So like I kind of agree with Bill Skarsgård. And I love Bill Skarsgård. The question is, did they ask Sting? No, of course they didn't. Probably not. <laughs> it's probably too old. That should have been the old. first option. A little too old. A little too old. I wouldn't mm-hmm. mind an old crow though, like an old man. <laughs> I would be. Hey, sort of cool she, honest, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, crow turns into a. Uh... I am the knight. <laughs> No, he yeah. just starts. He just starts scorpion death dropping everybody. In the movie. <laughs> yeah, that'd be and then, sick. yeah he like actually death movie. drops someone out the window. <laughs> that would be so. It's the whole cool. movie. It's the whole movie. It's just him doing the scorpion death drop and howling. <laughs> And oh, then, so when he lights the pawn shop on fire, that's his entrance. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Sick. Comes no, out it's, like a, it's like the crow meets Gran Torino. <laughs> Here for it. Sign me up. Jesus Christ. I don't know, man. This movie's been talked about for how many fucking years now? It's going to be either good like or it's going to be a now. flop. Do they have the cure in the soundtrack? If probably not, then not. I don't care. They're probably, probably going to put some newer stuff on it. It's probably not, it's not going to do not go into this thing about this is like the crow that we know. Oh, it because it's not. This. Well, and neither is City of Angels. Hey, God, no. watch your mouth. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> watch your fucking do you, mouth. Pat, do you this. like City of Angels? Yeah. I, I, I don't hate it. It's clearly no. not the worst thing ever. Absolutely it's just not. a really hard follow up. It is. Like, and, and, oh, I was going to say, you like Scream 3, you can't judge. <laughs> Yeah, I like Screen 3. It's fun as hell. Whatever. <laughs> no, I like City of Angels. In comparison of the other shitty Crow sequels. Because there's... Are there four? There's five or six, I think. <laughs> I think some of them were like straight to DVD. One looked like a fucking soap opera where the Crow has to fight himself. <laughs> that's amazing. That's, fu- that's fucking awesome. It's even funnier when birds aren't real. So. Yeah, the Crow, exactly. the Crow City of Angels, the Crow Salvation, the Crow Wicked Prayer. There are four. With the crow coming out in twenty twenty four, Wicked Prayer sounds like a sick corn song. It does, dude. It does. Um, I have something for the new stare pan. <laughs> so, what you got? Previously mentioned, you know, I, I love Hellraiser. I think the the Hulu uh, movie that came out a couple years ago was fucking amazing, and I love that that kind of like re vi- like revigorized the entire franchise. But um, Doug Bradley, who we know and love as our Main man, our Lord and Savior, our Lord and Savior of torment, uh, says that he's he's open to the idea of coming back and playing in his role again as Hellraiser. Yeah. Um, I think there's a really bad track record right now of bringing back OG characters in newer movies, but I don't know if they'll kill Pinhead off. Like they Sally hard to see. But, but like <laughs> Texas Chainsaw, they did it in. Um... Yeah, but Texas Chainsaw was good. So both of comings of Texas Chainsaw Massacre were Uh-oh. great. Are you kidding me? Hold on, <laughs> hold the fucking phone. You're gonna tell me the Texas Chainsaw <laughs> Massacre up. we got a couple of years ago is not good? You're talking Netflix 2022? Yeah. Yes, 100. percent What it's a favorite on this show? I don't know what movie you watch. What the fuck? <laughs> Are you on? Brother, that bus scene was... Oh, okay, one, name, name one, any other scene. 
the shotgun scene towards the end, the battle scene with the, the OG. The shotgun character. scene where he reflected bullets with you a chainsaw right. where he's a fat man and he runs <laughs> like he's a 200 miles an hour. And then he just dodges bullets and then they bring back an OG character just for her to go, huh, you're dead, fuck yep. off. What? Yep. Uh-huh. The most d- despicable characters I've ever <laughs> seen in a movie. What, you mean millennials being able to take their time to buy up a city? <laughs> <laughs> oh... <laughs> To be fair, oh. I think I think I think uh, Texas Chainsaw is bringing the legacy characters as like a gag because they killed it off real 100%. quick. One hundred percent. Yeah, <laughs> I agree. Listen, <laughs> I I really admire your dedication <laughs> to defending this. Oh my god! I mean, let's be real. The best part was him dolphin jumping out of the hole. The dolphin in the dive. Ground. Yeah, one hundred percent, dude. It's a great time. Go in and have fun. They should have subbed in Jason Momoa for that part. <laughs> Just or like an actual problem. dolphin. Yeah. Hey man, it was better than the fucking what was it? The one with Matthew McConaughey. Uh, was it? Uh, was la- it uh, yes, yes, uh, it was. Next Absolutely. Generation. Next Generation. Was it? I mean, granted, that movie is not good, but his character is so good. So, so good. is Personal Renee Zellweger. Personally, yeah. I'd I rather the movie. I'd rather watch Do Your Thing because more than 2022. I'm just saying, you know, at least I get I get joy out of hearing that. Yeah. You know, listen, I'm here as just a, a guy having a great time watching people get <laughs> slaughtered with a chainsaw. That's what I'm here for. Hey, that's that's the, the bummer about it. I wish the rest of the movie would have held up to that bus scene. Listen, There's nothing held up to that bus. That's the only good that part. That bus scene is fucking yeah. brutal. It's but the only good part of the movie. Well, I don't think they would do it. I mean, to see Doug Bradley come back, I, I only want to see it be a part of this new franchise. I don't want to see it come off as a standalone remake, requel, all the any of that bullshit. Yeah. No, I, I just want, like, you have a solid film that introduced a new Cenobite that was amazing. Like just add on, just have him be in it. Like, see, I didn't like the new Hellraiser either. <gasps> what the? Fuck? I th- I thought I thought it was just an okay film. Yeah, it, it was, was good. I wasn't special. blown away oh, though, man. especially because that. Sorry. Listen, if you They're shut good. down Hellraiser as a series, and the first <laughs> two are the only good ones. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's yeah, it. absolutely. Put this yeah. That's against it. three and through six. But that's most franchises. Let's be real. Like the most installments that's of franchise are dog franchise shit. We're discussing today. Gets I, way better towards the end. That's where I'm the, that's where I'm the negative experience in this. Yeah. I will so, say in the in the Hellraiser reboot, that main character was awful. <gasps> oh, like the main character, the main the main, the main actress, the yeah. like protagonist, because yeah. they pulled the whole "I was on drugs, so they don't believe me" thing. I yeah, hate that. That, that trope. was lame writing on that part. I'm talking about like the like to just as like the world building that they brought in, how they introduced a different Cenobite. That yeah, was, like the Cenobite design was great. Yeah, oh, oh, for the new one, I and, and yeah, the, they stepped away from the black and uh, white and stepped with a, yeah. like a red and pale color like yeah. concept. Yeah, it was more a very fleshy. Cool choice. Very, very dope. I saw the making of those makeups too. It's fucking crazy. Sick. <laughs> okay, Mike. So if they do bring back Doug Bradley, who's the new Cenobite they're going to introduce? I don't know. Bring back Chomper. <laughs> I think. I uh, see. I don't think we back. should bring back anybody. We should. I think new, you get a new one. Push I think forward. You get one, and you you pull elements from like, like the trench and like Frankenstein's army and things like that, and you kind of create this weird drill, dick man. <laughs> like like a Mega Man. Bring out the no, penis no, no. monster from yeah, Bo is yeah. Afraid. Bring exactly. out the penis monster from Bo is Afraid. I need yeah. a Cenobite that just has giant drill arms and a giant dr- and that are dicks, and he's just wow. hitting people with them. Just. Mm. Bah, bah. No, it's just telling people to open wide and go. It <laughs> instantly becomes a live concert of Guar. That is what this next I like is going to be. It's just a Guar concert in the Hellraiser universe. Will there be as much blood? <clears throat> All the blood you can expect and come. Okay. Come and blood. <laughs> Come on, if you've never been to a Guar concert, that's all it is. You're not there for the music. You're there for the blood. Yeah, you're there, the for, the yeah, you're there for the fluids. The yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll call it like it will just be nut and leather. That's the whole exactly. Movie. There it is. <laughs> Sticky <laughs> leather. There you go. Sticky leather. No, and it's like for me, it's like it's like oh, what if they did like another Nightmare on Elm Street like remake and Robert England came back? You know, I, yeah. I mean, it's I already just, in talks, or at least yeah. he wants to. When, yeah. when does it get to a point though where never? Like these guys are too old Never. and just it's not necessary anymore. Leatherface was eighty years old. Like leave the originals alone. Just leave yeah. them alone. Because yeah. people don't have original ideas for the most they part. True. They don't. That's and I mean we we're we're seeing some originality come back to the fucking horror franchise. And that's what I'm saying. It's rare. Yeah. It's yeah. rare when you hear an idea and you're like, I've never seen a movie of that about that before. 
Like uh, we talked about on a previous episode, name a horror movie about a hippo attack. You ain't seen one. That's I mean, I'm sure it lives scary on the as hell. Sci-fi channel somewhere. Probably. It has, dude. Those day movies, they there's it's oh, in there yeah. somewhere. It's there. There's a it's hippo versus anything on crocodile. Was it ketamine? Ketamine hippo? <laughs> yes. <laughs> ketamine hippo. That goes pretty hard. That might be the most terrifying thing in the world. If it's, it's yeah, true. no, that would be actually fucking horrifying. But also, too, with like the what is original nowadays is like you know, like movies like Talk to Me, yeah. and like even Skin and Rink in a, in a sense is like original, even though I'm not too much of a fan of it. But I, I like this idea see, of like, see, we loved it. I love. Skin I and I Rink. like but, the the but, idea of what what is gonna what is gonna come from Skin and Rink, which is like again it, the the back rooms, the analog. The back rooms movie should be great. Skin yes. and Rink also should have been thirty minutes shorter. Absolutely. And it, and it is not a theater experience. No, no. And, and I saw it at watch. home. Yeah, and I yeah, wish it would just. Watch. I wish the third act would just pay it off to something that you know it was at least yeah. something. Yeah, but that's it. I think but, if they would have focused more on those certain scenes, especially like the bedroom scene with him telling him to look under the bed and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, and the mom cracking her own goddamn neck in the closet. <laughs> oh, she didn't crack her own neck. She got her neck snapped by the demon. Oh yeah, you the right. Damn demon. Like I love that. Given like, demon that neck, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that, that good neck. But analog horror is not for everybody. It's no, really but not. it's, it's really like not. it's 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 upcoming to be like the new the new trend in horror. Like, what is the new thing for this this generation of, of horror? You know? Yeah. I'm not very like I'm not big on like I don't know like I'm really picky when it comes to like art housey horror too. Like even stuff oh, like absolutely. um like Innis Men. I didn't yeah. like. I it was it was a weird boring. fucking movie. Like stuff like that. Like even like if we're talking like The Witch, right? So I love Robert Eggers to death, but I don't find like The Lighthouse to be very rewatchable. No, same yeah. here. No, I I'm, agree. I'm it's... famous for not the only person on the podcast that doesn't like The Lighthouse. That yeah, much. I enjoy The Lighthouse, but it's not something I ever. Yeah, I've only on. seen it like twice. I think. Yeah, yeah. it's it hard is... to watch. There's something about like those the chaos of it. There's something about those art house movies that are like it's a one time watch. For the most part, say that. Well, I mean, to be fair, you only need to watch Eraserhead one time. That That's is true. Or, or <laughs> if you're watching uh, Eraserhead multiple times, you may need therapy. Dude, you, just watch. <laughs> Sa- oh yeah, you haven't seen it yet. Still, watch Santa Sangre, bro. Yeah, I need to. It's on the what? list. Oh. Have you guys seen that film? No. Okay, imagine Italian horror, but it's Mexican, and it's fifty <laughs> times weirder. Okay. Like, I don't even understand <laughs> this. Like, this. Just, I need all of y'all to take everything <laughs> off your watch list and watch that movie next. Got it. I'm just <laughs> trying to put that comparison into other things. Yeah. Like, it's pasta, Italian but it's a taco. Like, I'm thinking Literally. Like Galileo type films, and then I'm thinking Mexican horror. So I'm thinking, like, um,. What's that movie Jorge picked for us back in the day? So it's Dario Argentino. Fucking. Well, uh, like the one with Jigsaw? Yeah, with Jigsaw in it. I remember. The fucking, like, possession film. Oh, uh, uh, um, um. Uh, Balsaboth? Balsaboth? Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, where the the kids' footprints were on the ceiling and shit. Dude, that movie is fucked. Yeah. (laughs) So I'm thinking about movies like that, Satanic Hispanics, and then, you know, like, Dario, and I'm just like, (laughs) this could be a fucking vibe. But it sounds horrendous. I'm I'm looking this up because this is literally as if like you took everything that like Argento is. <laughs> hold on, is, is Claudio Argento related to? I mean, you'd have to look that up. I don't know because he's one of the writers for it. No, uh, I mean he could be. I'm I'm gonna guess it's a brother or a son. Yeah. Oh, here you go, Claudio oh, Argento, cousin. the second-born son of famed Italian producer Salvatore Argento, was born in 1943. So that makes sense of why the movie's very similar yeah. to that style. <laughs> it's it's literally like a weird giallo film on steroids, but it's in Spanish. Love it's that. just I'll check it out. That sounds fucking it. awesome. It's I can't even <laughs> explain the movie to be dead honest. It's impossible. <laughs> um, but. Anything else, Pat? Is there anything else worth mentioning? I think there was one more. Was some about American Psycho, talking about things using their new ideas. Oh yeah, Lionsgate is uh, playing a new version of uh, American Psycho and the Dead Why? Zone. Why? And Dead Zone, I'm okay with. Right? De- yeah, Dead Zone's well because who was in the original with. Dead Zone? Exactly. Was, uh, Christopher, right? I, I think Chris Walker. Christopher Walker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was in the de- yeah he was he in was. Dead Zone yeah. and. Oh, I don't remember what else around that time, but 
Yeah, he was in a lot of. I mean, that was like him starting to get really into. I mean, like, I only would want a dead zone if Cronenberg's son does it. Absolutely, yeah. that dude fucking <sighs> rocks in making movies, and I would love to see like what he would do with his father's film. Yeah, I want no one else touching it. Like, I, I, I mean, if there is, it's going to be like my top go to. You know, um, Sam Raimi, or it's going to be um, the goat. Fido. Um, not Fido, what's his fucking name? Alvarez, who does the, Evil Dead. The, yeah. It had um, to be something in that really experimental realm. Yeah. It's like, yeah. yeah. Cronenberg's son is like, the shit he's making right now is so much his own, and I don't think anyone could touch it. But like, nothing. like I I, I think I prefer possess, uh, Possessor over Infinity Pool. But like, Absolutely, me too. Everything he's doing is so unique, but I it's... compare those two films. It's hard, but they're, they're both him. Completely but different. they're both him. They're both him. But I think there's two completely different types. They of are. Movies. They absolutely so are. To like, but like, if I had to pick one to watch, I'd pick Possessor. True. I Same. mean, yeah. Possessor's I concept it, alone is very, one. very more. It's so unique. Yeah. I will. I mean, but I didn't even like Cronenberg's uh, newest film <gasps> all that much. You didn't um, like the the, uh, the the crime of the future. The, yeah. the, the best part movie? was that kid eating the bowl. It wasn't, yeah, it wasn't even a whole, it wasn't really even a horror film. No, it was it more was like graphic this, than yeah. anything. It was like not even dystopian. Yeah, they don't it. even explain the spaceship in the fucking intro. It didn't do much for me. It really didn't. I had a great time watching it. But that's because I love that. The OG I show that I went to the theaters with my girlfriend to go see it. That's her first Cronenberg experience. <laughs> that's wild. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's let's a, be real, that's probably a good way to ease her. Yeah, yeah, no. And then I'm, I'm like, all right, now we're gonna watch the fly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah there you go <laughs> uh, but no American Psycho like that's something like I, I just feel like that should never be touched well, didn't, we, like, I, didn't we already why? have like a shitty sequel to that movie <laughs> and it wasn't yeah. we did. Uh, we've had it, two yeah two there's but American that, Psycho 2 with Mila and American Mary but yeah. that movie holds oh, yeah. up American Mary's in modern and that yeah. movie holds up in modern day so it's like I don't yeah. understand why it needs a reboot no what yeah. I like more than anything out of the um, American Psycho franchise standalone from the book is the comic book series that have been developed around it like that's all we those. need though, though that's sick like let's keep that going but no we don't need a new American Psycho it's still golden it, it's not that old of a film who who would even play it like who who could you they're see? gonna get they're gonna ask Bill Skarsgård to play it of course yeah. not. I mean, hey, he's a phenomenal actor. Hear me out. I mean, like, Hear me out. No. It's gonna be it's gonna be Mia Goth. <laughs> even or better. ooh, even plot twist. Instead of Willem Dafoe playing a cop, <gasps> now he's Patrick Bateman. Oh, oh, Christian Bale can play a cop. Is actually Batman. And somehow this all <laughs> goes back to the Dark Knight franchise with Christopher Nolan. Yes. Yeah. And Dorcia's like Bucky's or something. Here, it's, Hear me out. Speaking of which. Hear me out. Get Justin Long to play it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what? You just think I'm, I'm going to cause a scene because I just want to gargle your cock. <laughs> Zach and Mary Kapoor. Dude, I fucking love Zach Justin and Mary. Long. Everything he does uh, is so good. So good. Um, <laughs> oh, I'm making a scene. I'm making a scene. <laughs> Um, I do want to bring up something though, bringing up the fact that I just mentioned Dark Knight. Um, Pat, do you have anything else before I pose this topic of no. discussion and we move on to the movies? We can right, move cool. on. So recently, Christopher Nolan got into the news talking about that he would love to make a horror movie if the right idea presented itself. To him. Absolutely, I agree. And yeah. I ask you. What kind of film? You don't have to go into depth, but like, are you, we talking like a psychological thriller? Are we talking creature feature? Like, what kind of movie do you think Christopher Nolan would make? Sci fi, like horror sci fi. Honestly, yeah. this is a weird concept. Hear me out. I don't think it needs a remake, but I think he's one of the only people that could probably make an Event Horizon remake. And make it. Absolutely. Oh, dude, you're fucking right. But 100%. do we get the extended cut this time? Yeah. Of course, because he doesn't make any short movies. Yes, <laughs> so, like, fair. You're, True. You're, you be in the you, you be ready for a three hour horror movie. Like he's yeah. gonna take you on a fucking ride. I, I mean, we watch we watch Bo is Afraid, bro. Like yeah. <laughs> it's the same thing. I wouldn't mind <laughs> that him. movie's a ride. I wouldn't mind seeing Christopher Nolan do like an like an actual alien movie. That would yeah. be cool. I yeah. honestly think he could really do really whatever the fuck he wanted. Like yeah. even if he did a movie sort of like Annihilation or like sort of in that same realm of things, like it could work. For all I know, he could direct an incredible slasher. Yeah, no, <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Like, like, I just don't know. Like, I, 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 
I love that man, but he comes off as a pretentious asshole, and he probably is a pretentious asshole. Let's be real, um, though. He deserves to be a pretentious <laughs> asshole. Yeah. <laughs> Agreed. He's, he's one of the – record yeah. is right. – He's one of the only directors who could probably be like, look, I can be a dick. I deserve it. Like, uh, Yeah. And I'm curious about the stuff that he's written and or shot that has never seen the light of day. Same. Yeah. So, I would love to see him do a creature feature that is a sci-fi movie. So I agree yeah. with Chandler. It definitely, really cool. I think, like, he fucking rocks at sci-fi movies. Absolutely. So get him, giving him, like, Event Horizon or an alien or even... Give him, or give Starship him, like, Troopers. Movie... <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sign me up. I, I love that. <laughs> Sign me I, up. Honestly, even if he did something in the realm of, like... A, make it a little more sci-fi as maybe but more his style even something like the ritual like sort yeah. of that sort of creature feature in that realm but like That'd anything cool. in that sort of style he could do with that or just give me do this like insane psychological just bender of like what the fuck is happening exactly but, i would also like to see like him take on like a like a throw like a seven that'd be kind of cool. sort of like a like a thriller psychological yeah because he's so good I, at that yeah Another good he could he could probably do fear and loathing if you wanted to touch on that. <laughs> True. If he wanted to mix the horror aspect, he could do natural born killers, killers too. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. it's still I, an action movie. It just has I yeah. think he could pull off a very weird paranormal film. Ooh. You know I, what? Like just some weird like paranormal like ghost esque film. I don't know what the fuck you do. Add like a time you know element the, to it. You, exactly. I was just about to say you add some like weird physics. <laughs> To it, component to it, like yeah. he, as he always does with a lot of his movies, like that would be really interesting to see him do some kind of paranormal entity type building time paradox thing. Yeah. That would be fucking cool. I is would sci fi and paranormal are my go tos. Yeah, me. absolutely. I think he just sort of has that down. But I mean, are there any other like big directors or just well known directors you'd like to see direct a horror film? I would love to see uh, David Lynch to do a horror movie. They're not David Lynch, mm. sorry. Uh, who did that? I was about to be like, <laughs> hasn't he done, definitely, he's done definitely done. <laughs> uh, I, or uh, who, who did Seven? Sorry. Seven? Seven is done by um, Jesus Christ. Google's he, I mean, yeah, he David did come Fincher, up. David Fincher. David Fincher, that's what I meant. Yes. Dude, yeah. Fincher would be wild. Um, um, God damn. Who did something recently <laughs> that I just watched? I was, like, I was blown away by like the movie. Wes Anderson would be an interesting one. That would be really interesting. Uh, I don't think it'd be, it'd be scary. Very, it would be scary. <laughs> it'd be like a horror comedy. No, because be the killer comedy. would run by and be like. <laughs> yeah, there'd be a lot of breaking walls, a lot of symmetry. The color scheme oh, would be it, phenomenal. Yeah, no reds. His color no reds. would be no so reds. good in that. Who did um, Who did Baby Driver? Uh, was that? Edgar Wright. Was that right? Yeah. Right. Anything in that sort of realm too? That'd be I very would like interesting. To see him do very, a movie, yeah. Like just sort of very colorful and fun, like or just absolutely chaotic. Like if you watch a movie like Mayhem or something mm-hmm. that doesn't take itself too seriously, I think it'd be yeah. something cool like that. I don't know. There's a, there's a lot of directors who could I think pull it off. There's but. a lot of good ones who like, and I feel like like it's hard because like you have to really. I don't know, like Jordan Hill came in and just destroyed the game, right? Like he came out and said, here's my debut. Here's a horror movie. Classic. So it, here's I don't another know. one. Classic. And it's just. I don't know if this is just me, right? So I love Jordan Peele to death. I, I love Get Out. Us is probably my least favorite of his three films, believe it or not. But sure. I really enjoyed Nope for what it was because it was a fun take on sci-fi. But like, do you also partially think his movies are a little bit overhyped just for the cultural aspect of them? No, I mean, like, you look, you watch something like, like Get Out, right? And what it's done in itself as a film, right? Mm-hmm. Giving us this really cool idea of these, like, that was original. separate bodies. It was very separate, original. Separate people, Doppler Ganger S thing. Really cool, right? Never really been done and touched before. I mean, you can say it's kind of pulling from, like, Invasion of the Body Scanners, things yeah. like that. Uh, really cool, right? Original, fun movie. Then you get something like Nope. Like, <sighs> A really cool take on a like alien invasion movie that really it's, doesn't explain things. Well, especially the fact that like the alien was the spaceship. The spaceship exactly. Yeah. That, right? that like, was very unique. I think like what I love about him. One is that his writing is phenomenal. Absolutely. He does. He gives us well fleshed out characters. Yeah. He does really good storytelling. His pacing is phenomenal. So I think it's well warranted. Yeah, absolutely. Like he has come in and said like, "Here is what I can do," and has done three movies that have have rocked. Yeah. Like no matter what, like they have done really well. Like mm-hmm. I would say like 
you know, Get Out is my favorite one, and then Nope, and then Us. But like every film has been phenomenal, even Absolutely. if you don't really like it. There's something you can pull from it, and I think that's what makes you a great director. Like you cannot really like the movie, but you still respect a lot of the components of it. Yeah, I and think he almost changed the horror game modernly. Oh, sorry, go ahead. I was about to say it too. The stuff that he inspired too. Have you guys seen them yet? It's a TV show on. Prime. Them was great. That was them, great. Yes, and I think that was like a further idea than like a lot of things that were introduced in like Get Out and well, stuff like that. But yeah, and you mentioned like the cultural aspect, right? You, you yeah. think about like black cinema in horror and typically what it's been praised as right mm-hmm. you have blackula who gave you like your first like yeah black killer then we have spawn again another black man finally like you know but then you have movies a lot of the time you have movies like a uh, scary movie all that series where all those characters are you know following stereotypical tropes True. and here comes someone who gives us like hard fleshed out characters that we can love and like respect absolutely um so i think he's really changed a lot of the game like hey like you know you're not i don't have to follow the 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 industry standard of what you think like a black individual should be in a horror movie yeah yeah i'm don't... gonna give you what like it really is and what it should be i i think he's yeah. fucking awesome i mean yeah. like i have some issues on a lot of some other things going on with him personally mm-hmm. yes um but there's, wait there's other things. no i mean, we're we won't get into it podcast, but yes but like it deals with things going on in the world um but well, besides aware of that <laughs> Yeah. I also like that, obviously, because he is making black cinema, he breaks that black character dies first mm-hmm. if they die at all. Oh, yeah. Right. And we're also out of the like leprechaun in the hood era of you know, exactly. Of, and that's what I mean. Like, cinema, you know, yeah. like, uh, also watch the blackening if you've not watched it. And you still haven't watched it. Amazing. Yeah, we it's never watched it. So it's fun. good. I mean, I, mean, I uh, think the, we went to go see Barbie instead. It, it was so good um and uh, i feel like barbie's a fucking great barbie movie. was great dude barbie's <laughs> great. We, we don't, we don't give a shit. that movie was great. well and speaking of barbie did you guys see lisa frankenstein yet, yet. no the I'm writing is the so same bad. as barbie you'll yeah. love yeah. it that you'll movie i'm was going in so my, my uh i haven't read anything really about it you know I, i've seen the reviews and i'm just like i don't care if people don't like it i'm going into this fully as an 80s rom-com and that's what i want and uh, soundtrack and bangs too amazing of course yes. it is it's 80 and colin spruce come on zach yeah. and the sweet life of zach and cody here he is playing we, we love movie. mr spruce <laughs> pronounce his last name real quick is it spruce it's sprouse, sprouse. It's sprouse. <laughs> spruce listen if you know anything about this podcast we don't talk well we just we just eat well. you, you called him colin spruce colin spruce brother uh, his name is cole sprouse that's great <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It it's is Colin officially Spruce. Colin Spruce. Ah, that's fucking good. That's his, gonna, uh, that can be his al- his drunken alter ego. Yeah, Colin, Spruce. Drunk Spruce. Drunk Colin honestly, Spruce. Honestly, <laughs> he he acts drunk about 50% of this film because he has <laughs> yes. to. So Maybe I'll go sense. check it out this weekend. I've been wanting to watch it. You'll love it. Yeah. Uh, um, but how about we talk about some something else? How about nah, we get into I'm the, down. Uh, how about uh, some uh, <laughs> iconic hockey-faced killer that we know, love, and true today? Jason Voorhees in Friday the 13th. Well, I mean, technically, he's yeah. not a hockey a, mask guy yet. He's true. That's what, part three? Yes. He gets the hockey mask. Yeah. He dones the mask. He part does. one, he's not even in this movie. He's not. <laughs> Except, you know, dead. Or is and he then dead? Turns into an adult man, you know? It, out in a year. I have questions about that, but let's. let's... Ever. <laughs> Well, technically, technically, just thrown it off. Wasn't that technically a nightmare sequence? So we don't actually know what yeah. it was. Oh, true. <laughs> <laughs> right? Oh, a nightmare sequence, you say? A nightmare uh, sequence. Uh, <laughs> Ready? Nightmare sequence. Segway. Freddy vs. Jason. Nightmare, nightmare, nightmare. <laughs> Freddy vs. Jason, best movie ever made. Let's go. Yes, <laughs> exactly. All right. So, yeah, of course, we're talking about Friday the 13th, made in 1980. It's a fucking staple in the horror community. Uh, I, there's no one that I've ever talked to that has not seen Friday the 13th if they're a horror fan. Directed by Sean Cunningham. Yes. What is there to say? Group of camp counselors trying to reopen a supper camp um, called Camp Crystal Lake, which has a grim past and are stalked by a mysterious killer. All we're here for, guys, for Friday the 13th, and correct me if I'm wrong, is for camp counselors that are horny to get fucked up by some sort of killer, whether it's the killer for the first movie or the killer from the second movie, which is Jason Voorhees. That's all we're here for. Horny teenagers. Gotta love it. Getting killed. That's all. Yeah, lovely time. Yeah. This, um, I was texting the guys, and I was like, Friday the 13th has perfected the 90-minute movie length time. Like, they they know what to give you. Yeah, 100%. 
an intro, a middle, and an end in, in 90 minutes, nothing else, and that is it. But The only oh one boy. I wanted a three-hour cut for is Jason X. I agree. <laughs> I agree. We, I we could watch three hours of that fucking rightfully. movie. <laughs> but um, coming yeah. back to Friday the 13th, after, how, after like three years of not watching it, God damn it, did this movie bore the shit out of me. The, the first, first one's one, boring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah, first yeah. one is arguably one of the most slow slashers I've ever watched. Yeah. In, oh, God. Okay, can we talk about the fact, okay, the beginning of the movie, right? These camp guys are singing that fucking kumbaya shit. That's, uh, I literally put that in my notes. <laughs> <laughs> like, let me see. Let's Go open ahead, the brother. notes. Like... You're, sing, you're, sing, you're singing hallelujah, right? Exactly. And then we're like, hallelujah, I'm about to go get some. So, God wants to so, you mean all <laughs> You mean all Christians? What do you mean? Yeah. <laughs> Amen, brother. It's, um, it's, it's, not pre- it's not premarital sex if you put it in my ear. No, you just got to <laughs> soak. Just soak, soak your troubles oh, away. Yeah, you know soak, I mean? yeah. Like the, the Mormons? Yes. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. soak away. But like. What a weird intro. And then did anyone else ca- catch that the Friday the 13th like logo prompt after they're fucking killed in slow-mo um, is literally identical to the now that's what I call music logo? <laughs> nope. I didn't Never correlate it at all, but it. yeah, I see it. Yeah, now. I was watching that's like, damn, incredible. this is the fucking now that's what I call music logo in font, 100%. <laughs> now that's, that's what I call all. murder, murder, murder. <laughs> <laughs> But man, God, yeah, I just, I watched this movie and I was just like, what the fuck is happening? Right? Because like, it really does not set you up for anything. Just boring. People yeah. just get killed. Just and it's like, who are these characters? But, but, it, very... but isn't that what you wanted with a slasher? <laughs> I think when this movie came out, no. Right? Yes, absolutely. I yeah. think when this movie came out in the high of slashers, people were looking for, I mean, the thing about it, Nightmare on Elm Street gives us. It's a, a cool, better, iconic killer. killer. It's, a, it's a better franchise. I mean, it is a better franchise. Yes, absolutely. absolutely. Put that on the way. Um, but, but it also gives us, this, one, yes, an iconic killer, but it gives us fleshed out characters, right? Yeah, like, yeah. we go in knowing who Nancy is, who Glenn is, yeah. who her, uh, Tracy, like, we, we get to know these. We don't know any of these people. Besides They're, Kevin Bacon. The <laughs> most notable name is Kevin Bacon. <laughs> And even then, like, we don't have any type of character building, fleshing out a storyline at all. There's really no final girl almost to the end, except for Alice. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Who gets wasted in the second film. Yeah. In the first yeah. 10 minutes. <laughs> oh, I wish I had the fucking thing that Dylan Hales. Spoilers, dude. You can't say that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, yeah, it's just, like, it really, like, again, I love Jason Voorhees. Growing up, Jason was my shit. Out of all of them, he was my favorite. Just because yeah. I was a big dude, he's a big guy. I loved it. Uh, but yeah, that's my first thoughts. Go on, Patrick. Go first, then Sean Chandler. Whoever wants to jump in. Uh, it's a it's a clear rip off of Halloween. It was banking I mean, off the, the success. Yeah, of absolutely. <laughs> it was a, I mean, but a, a shittier. A shittier aren't all of them? <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, except for, I, again, Freddy and uh, Pinhead. I can't really put in that category because yeah. they're more. Yeah, 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 yeah. They are very unique. I will give them that. Yeah, uh, but. Most of, yeah, yeah, I was. I've never been a fan of the Friday the Thirteenth franchise. I've seen all of them at least once. The only one I always go back to is Jason X. <laughs> it's a blast. It's a fucking fun. Yeah, film. People hate on that movie, but it's such a good fun. In film. comparison, this, these fucking two movies, these are boring as shit. Space people, <laughs> especially I, the fight toward the end with Jason and the android, where he oh, just yes. like barely punches her. <laughs> And their fucking head falls out. I can't fucking wait for that. No, (laughs) but this movie does a bad job of trying to do like a red herring thing where it introduces Mm -hmm. the killer at the end and it's like, oh, who the fuck is she or who said person? You know, because she's not the person's not shown in the movie at all. Yeah, like I granted they I'm uncomfortable. Uh, They should have done. Miss Voorhees' entire sequence of like, hey, it's my son's birthday at the beginning. Yeah. And then it. Well, because technically it starts in 58. Yes. But he's already dead at that point. Right. Yep. Was it five years, she says? I think two, so. Two to five that, years they should have done that first because you, then you're like, okay, here's this. Here's the reason it's five years later. People yeah. act like they forgot about it. Blah, mm-hmm. blah, blah. Ms. Voorhees is coming back to uh, take uh, matters into at her. At least oh, introduce man. her as a character that's, uh, that's in the movie, you know, before yeah. it's revealed. Yeah. 
uh, again, it does a bad job of trying to do a red heron like a Scooby Doo type of trope or anything like that. You know, <laughs> I agree. Yeah. Fuck. I'm just saying, there's a better. Oh, could, the, you can easily just fix that movie and make it a little bit better by just doing some shit like that. But yeah. Yeah, it's, it's called the burning. <laughs> True. <laughs> <laughs> Not only that, like I agree. Like they, like I agree with Sean. Give us this character in the beginning. Explain the universe to us, mm-hmm. right? No one went into this thinking this was going to be a one-off. You don't write this this movie right here as a one-off. Because no. Yeah. Because what? At this point, no... Halloween already had its sequel? Exactly. Uh, Not only that, I'm just talking about... A like, uh, year no, before. There's no complex right. storytelling, right? Like, it's just people show up. They have the little party. One of them's like, let's get naked. Playing some Monopoly. <laughs> And hang on, hang on. One of them is like, let's get naked. Not both of them is like, let's get naked. I think all of them were like, let's get naked. Okay, so everyone has one naked like, partner, naked. one fully clothed partner. Usually is how it is. And it's always the women are naked. And that, guys that have is, socks. That is a trope in this this franchise. Uh, I think I was I was watching part two last night, and I literally pinpointed the first po- boobs that you see is about 42 <laughs> minutes in. Yes. Nice timestamp. Yeah, I was like, mm, around 42 minutes now. Yeah. <laughs> boobies <laughs> and i have so much to say about part two when we get there um and little, little to say about this movie um but yeah chandler what you got um so i'm the oddball out here i don't like friday the 13th as much of a franchise just overall it's never really been my favorite i right. find most of them just sort of overdone and just cheesy absolutely but- don't get me wrong. I love the cheese when the time calls for it, but I just feel like as movies, none of them are really that appealing to me. No. I'd rather watch different. I'd rather watch different slashers. Um, Absolutely. So, so I mean, I don't know. The first one, I think, just struggles with pacing. I think it's slow. I think it just doesn't really know what it wanted to be. And then that's 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 really about it. But I also have like an unpopular opinion with a lot of slashers like this. Like no. I love <laughs> a lot of old school slashers. Don't get me wrong, mm-hmm. but like I definitely lean t- towards newer stuff. So it's I have a bit of a different opinion on that. Like Sleepaway Camp, I think is a dog shit film. It is. I mean, it's absolutely a short, dog shit film. You're just, you're, yeah, you're there so, for men in short shorts because the second one is better. There for. Yeah, so it's just like, I don't know. Like, there's a lot of slashers that it's hard to enjoy just for the cheese factor when they're just boring. Like, this first one is just incredibly slow. No, and especially when it's a slasher movie that's, like, supposed to... Not at me. A slasher film, which is kind of like, you know, it's the it's the fast food of horror movies, you know? It's supposed to be For sure. I mean, I'd rather watch... Go. <laughs> I'd rather watch The Burning. Yeah. yeah, I'd rather watch The Burning. I'd rather watch like I'd rather watch Nightmare on Elm Street. I'd rather watch Halloween. I just think there are much better options when it comes to that sort of stereotypical slasher, at least yeah. at the beginning of a franchise for other ones too. And to be honest, in this entire franchise, it's not my favorite film, <laughs> but I'd rather watch Freddy vs. Jason Absolutely. than any of them. And that and that's stupid, not even a Jason movie. That's more of a Freddy what? movie. <laughs> Exactly, no, 100%. More of a but movie. it's fun. Yeah. Like it knows what it is, yeah. and it also has a banger ass soundtrack. So Absolutely. I'd rather watch Best that. Soundtracks. <laughs> I'd much rather watch that, or like Jason X, or some bullshit. Like, yeah. Yeah. if it can understand what it is and just be silly and dumb and be a slasher for what it is, and I, I think, think that's what better. happens later on in the universe. You know oh yeah, it gets so later dumb. Later on, it gets <laughs> it, it, it understands what it is and just gives us the ridiculousness of slashers. Like it Pretty understands much. finally what the entity of it has become. Yeah. Uh, but what are your thoughts? You said not you. You said I, when I said people are going to be fucking pissed. Don't be mad at me. Uh, oh, yeah. So. I was I, just saying like mm. slasher wise in general. Yeah. yeah. Like granted, I like shit movies. I like dog shit <laughs> movies. Have you all seen Bloodhook? No. Mm. Well, you po- I see you post things. I'm just like, what the fuck is this? See, you got to start watching them. <laughs> I just I like cornball slapstick slashers. That's. I- I don't don't get me wrong. I do too. I love them, but it, it takes me to be in a particular mood. Oh yeah, yeah, to yeah watch for sure. Because like I'm like okay here, I have to like think about it. I'm like all right, I'm about to watch something that's so dumb, but that's okay. Yeah, like I'm here for the kills, and that's what I, that's why I love slashers. Like I go into it, I'm like I'm here for kills. I'm not here for story context really. Like I still appreciate it. I want yeah. it to be some story. I don't want it just be like this where it's just random people being killed by a random person. And I have no background as to why. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, and again, that's fine if the understanding of the movie is like a you know a maniac that's just going around killing people. That, right? But that's I think that's, that's why I like Terrifier because art does not have a backstory. There's no movie, yeah. and right? you don't like, need he's it. Just, he's just killing people. Like he just wants to fucking 
that's because Dam- carnage on people, da- and that's da- fine. Damien knew what he was making. He yeah. literally was like, "Yo, I know what this movie is. I, I know what people are coming to this to see. Mm-hmm. Yeah, expect it, enjoy it. He, Shut up! Like, yeah, don't he, expect he, a plot. Like, it's no. just not what this movie is. Literally, like, he's like, "I'm gonna go into the slash world and give you something that you've probably never seen before." On a mainstream platform, finally, yeah. or like something that we've that been hungering for for a is... while. Yeah. Exactly, I think we've been missing a gore-filled, like bloody, fucking slasher. But we but, haven't got one of those in years, and especially like a new icon like Art the Clown, you know? Exactly. Yeah, because we've Agreed. just we 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 have grown up with the era of even remakes. And again, I'll I'll even say this too: the remake of Friday the Thirteenth, I like more than the fucking original movie. Oh yeah. It's it's it's. I wouldn't saw it in when the Jason and... when Jason learned archery, it could yes. shoot someone on a boat going <laughs> Yo, forty miles an hour. Yeah, man, toke up, brother. <laughs> yeah, out there, the woods just. Yeah, Jason Voorhees is straight edge. We all know this. <laughs> my yes. favorite, my favorite one liner of all time. What is it? Your nipples have perfect symmetry, or whatever the <laughs> fuck he says. <laughs> yes. Jesus Christ. But yeah, um, no. And then it, if anyone has ever even seen fucking Scream or know Friday the Thirteenth as a whole, the first movie. Who is the killer? Yeah. This is for you. And it's just Mama. Mom. Mom here. And like that whole God, dude, that whole dialogue is just so <laughs> gross and I hate it. And I'm just like, all I think about is like you're blaming other people, but you were there at the camp. You were paying attention to your son who needed special consideration. Just like, a bad fucking you said, mom. I was cooking lunch that day, and it's just like, okay. Yeah. Um, but did you make sure that he was properly being watched? I get the camp counselors are there, but it feels like that you work there, that you know that they're all just a bunch of horny teenagers <laughs> trying to get it in. So, like, maybe you should have been a little bit more cautious about your son who couldn't swim. Why the fuck did you bring him to a goddamn <laughs> swim? Or maybe. Maybe long shot. Okay. Maybe Mr. Voorhees wasn't laying it down, and That's she was it. mad. Yeah. <laughs> at, everyone Absolutely. at the camp, it's like, oh, they're they're having fun, uh, and I'm was cooking done. fucking beans. Fucking sloppy <laughs> joes. <laughs> the the I, sloppy I, Jason. There you go. I just Jason. think of the scene from Billy Madison. <laughs> I know how you guys like the extra sloppy. <laughs> just like, lady, please, you're scaring us. <laughs> <laughs> That's the real horror of this movie. It was never to do with Jason Vo- Jason drowning. She was fed up with people making fun of her sloppy joes, and she just decided to take it out on everyone. Absolutely, <laughs> sloppy Joe massacre. Yep. But also, why not go kill the counselors? That that's a great movie title. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that's a better movie. Like go find those counselors and you kill them. You kill. You take your revenge out on new people who have nothing to do because they're just there at the camp. Like that's another plot, like a plot that I would love that they would have fucking investigated, right? Yeah, yeah. Go, I mean, go look at those people. Go find those kids. Kill them. It Kill does the make ones sense. responsible for killing your son. Yeah, killing innocent people over it, I guess, doesn't necessarily make sense. No. But that's the thing. I think when they wrote this, they were just sort of like, people will watch this. It's a slasher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's absurd enough. Yeah, Here you go. You've heard of Freddy. You've heard of Michael. No. Jason. Well, well not really, funny enough, at that point, you hadn't even heard of Freddy yet. Exactly. Yeah, yeah Freddy comes afterwards. You've heard of uh, Michael and that's it. That that, right. that big Norman Bates <laughs> challenge guy. And yeah, Norman Bates. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, man. There's really not much like both have mommy issues. Those. There you There's go. Coming here for a fucking like in depth conversation. There's really not much to say about any of these movies that we're going to talk about uh, for, throughout, like compared to like Nightmare on Elm Street. Yeah. Right. Yeah. There's deeper story connections. There's deeper overarching stories in the entire thing. Um, the Friday f- the 13th. I mean, it's a fun w- background watch. I think like if you're having a Halloween party, you throw it on, it's whatever it's there. You're not really, you don't need to pay attention because there's really no plot. Yeah. You no, know? no. Then the fact um, that there's the a, there was ending a sequence are boring. Yes. And the fact that there was a, even a conversation of Jason, you know, when Jason versus Freddy happened, like, who is the better icon? It's like, clearly it's fucking Freddy. Yeah. <laughs> but there's Jason fans out there. There's, there's Jason fucking die stands. Jason fans out there. Oh, absolutely. They will fucking die on that pickle box. And those people... They will die. Those people are uh, very special. <laughs> yeah, Friday the 13th is an interesting franchise because, like, obviously with there not being much plot, you're just like, 
Okay, setting. Cool. Camp. Um, what's Jason going to do this time? And that's the only part that you have to write. It doesn't matter what anyone else does because the outcome is the same. Yeah. Yeah. What crazy tool can we give him to murk people? I mean, like, in this movie, he, let's see, he knives Barry to the gut. He slow-mo, kill, slow-mo kills Claudette. He? Oh, sorry, she, sorry. Hmm. He said Jason, and then it fucking connects me. Um, then Pamela throat slits Annie. She throat slits Ned. I wrote this all down. Yeah. Um, and this is in order, by the way. Love that. Uh, uh, Jack gets killed with an arrow through the... Um, the throat, which was my favorite kill of the movie. Yeah, through the bottom Kevin of the Kevin Bacon's death scene yeah. is the coolest. Yeah. Um, Mesa gets an axe to the head. Yep. Um, Steve gets stabbed in the gut. Bill gets hit with arrows. Brenda, I have no idea. She's only gets thrown through the window covered in those loose ropes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, what, what killed her? <laughs> it makes I, about I, as much know. sense as the whole franchise. <laughs> <laughs> and then, you know, the weakest slash i've ever seen in my entire life from alice to pamela Voorhees's head and it, it, it uh, just, completely what, dip- what is the gr- <laughs> okay who, what who, who sharpened that machete <laughs> what fucking level of blade strengthening was put on that thing it was a one hit ko there was no there was no like hacking at the cartilage of a neck bone or nothing it's like the, N- pamela Voorhees had no cervical connection from her head to the bot, the posterior part of her fucking uh, thoracic cavity. It was just meat. So I'm going to bring this back up because I held myself from saying this until you got <laughs> to her scene. If this movie was actually about Sloppy Joes, they should have called it Sloppy Toppy from when she got decapitated. Yeah, that's a good oh, one. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one. Oh, sloppy Toppy. Yeah, I just, <laughs> just one God, sling. Alice... And just... The the best part is she takes so long to fall down. <laughs> it's that it's that like old man falling down the stairs like and then Dude, you're just the, like just die already. Just no, it's like putting the chicken's head off the and seeing fucking, it go for five fucking, seconds. Like when they're fighting on like the lakefront yeah. and she grabs the fucking uh the paddle and tries to like stab her and it's yeah. like with what it's not broken it's not sharp it's a blunt instrument <laughs> what how, what damage did you think she was gonna take can i tell you my favorite part of the entire film the yeah. ending well <laughs> but prior to her being decapitated it's when she's running from alice and alice is just throwing things but the bomber's just like <clears throat> God damn it, mm, I forgot. Mm, she's blocking like whole rolls of cable yeah don't fuck with her and shit, no badass. No. And then she just the f- oh, God, she lost dude. her head. I, I have this last comment yeah. before I like I rate it. Uh, unless you guys have Chandler or Pat, you have anything else to add? But when she fucking is in the cabin and she fucking like decides to like barricade herself in with the most random fucking objects. Oh, it's so, she just piles them in front of the door. It's yeah, so like, good. It's a uh, uh, a fucking a chair and then a lamp and then like some rope and. Just for her to like, go through it. And I'm like, what is happening right here? I'm like, you just yeah, watch your just exit. Put the dresser. <laughs> like, that's put that's why it bums me out that that ending fight wasn't more. Granted, she was like slamming her head into the sand and shit. Yeah. But I was like, you punched through a door. Yeah. Like <laughs> she was high on sloppy Joe. That's why at that point her high was going down. So um, wild movie uh, for me starting off this series um, in a, in a, in a low level. Um, I'm gonna give it a solid two and a half out of out five. Out of, out of five. 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 Okay. 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 Five okay. I'll take that. Here. So it's a two and a half out of five for me. Okay. I'll take that. Pat. Oh, I give this a zero. <laughs> I fucking hate this God movie. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like Hard the Friday the Thirteenth franchise Pat. at all. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. You know, guys. You know that Dylan has actually never seen two through. He's never seen two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. He's watched Jason X and Freddy. He's never watched like the in between. So realistically, he's watched the good ones. He's yeah. watched Friday. <laughs> no, I mean, he's watched Friday the Thirteenth, the first one, and then he's watched Jason X and Fr- Freddy versus Jason. Okay, um, so still the good ones. So <laughs> he's he, he's seen some of the better ones, and I cannot wait. Oh, I cannot wait for him to watch Jason Takes Manhattan. Yeah, and Jason goes to hell. I mean, you only get to see someone stab someone with a guitar so many times. Yeah, exactly, so. exactly. All right, Sean. I forgot that happens. <laughs> Ah. Think long and hard about this. Long and hard. Yeah, I'm probably going to give it a two. 
I do like it. Like, granted, it's not the worst film in the franchise. Is it the slowest one? Sure. Yeah, it definitely is the slowest one. All right, Chandler, you're next. Like half a star, one. Yeah, we're doing a half. Okay, we'll do it. <laughs> a half yeah. a point. I just don't. It, I don't it, like a point it. for effort. <laughs> it tried. Point for effort. It Literally. tried. You you attempted to get the good noodle star, but you lost it. So what's going? Um, but yeah, no, guys. I mean, we'd love to hear your thoughts. So I'm sure that there are some diehard Jason fans that listen to the show that are gonna um, hate us. You're gonna hate us. Um, <laughs> Good. We don't fine. want you here. <laughs> <laughs> I would. Love, Jason no, fans honestly, drive me up a fucking wall. Know, <laughs> seriously, like, if they are diehard Jason friends, like, why they really do like the franchise and why they think that Friday the Thirteenth is up there with such icons as Nightmare on Elm Street, Halloween, Hellraiser. <laughs> Like I would love to know that rationale. Like Jason as a character, yes, but I'm talking about like films, right? But like, the Halloween movies get shitty too. Yeah, no, they <laughs> don't get any better. They get they yeah they get really bad. Um, that's most so of it's like that's most of the, the case with slashers. And I mean, again, except for fucking Freddy, like, we just rewatch yeah, dude, all. Of them. I mean, <laughs> shocker on this podcast, we we loved that we loved two, we loved three. No, we didn't like three as much. I, you don't Warriors like Dream is, Warriors as much? I love Dream eh. Warriors still. It's still I like it better than Dream Child. No, dude, we had the, we had a fucking blast with Dream Child. A little fucking baby Freddy, weird yeah, ass. Dude. Fetus Freddy <laughs> wild. <laughs> Yeah, um, I think we shocked a lot of people with what we actually ended up enjoying out of the Nightmare Elm Street series. In comparison, and then you like, get to New Nightmare, yeah. and you're having an absolute blast. Actually, we didn't like it. Dylan hated it. Really? Um, and me and Pat enjoyed it. No, Pat, you hated it too, right? Yeah, I can. <laughs> yeah, I, really I thought the idea was cool because it's like it's a precursor to what he was doing with Scream. I, it's just mm-hmm. leather pants, Freddy. <laughs> 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 leather pants freddy it's like <laughs> freddy listening to creed for the first time he's like i'm gonna get myself some leather pants <laughs> goes yeah. hard it, uh, <laughs> um, but yeah no definitely check if you haven't listened to those episodes check them out because it's a wild ride on like us actually enjoying the part of these movies that people hate right most people just like one and three out True. of the Elm Street series. yeah like that is the big ones yeah we like two is a oh, i love two two is so good Four amazing. There's yeah, we were. A, like we were fucking, su- I was oh, surprised God. to re- to actually appreciate uh, Dream Master. Yeah, Dream, we really enjoyed you because it's a, it's a great sequel to Dream Warrior. Yeah, 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 true. Um, talking about sequels, nineteen eighty two, uh, nineteen eighty one. Excuse me, comes around literally a year later. Uh, Friday the Thirteenth Part Two, and I get to say my favorite Steve fact about Miller. this entire movie. What is your favorite fact, Sean? Tom Savini got asked to do the makeup for Friday the Thirteenth Part Two. He read the script and said nope, and he <laughs> went and did the Burning's makeup instead. Hell yeah, <laughs> my man. I'm and saying, Tom Savini, if we can just get <laughs> what a legend! What a legend! Um, dude, Jesus, I mean, talk about getting the entire first fucking movie replayed for you. I'm saying. Jesus Christ! You don't need to watch. This is what my understanding is. You don't need to watch Friday the uh, the Thirteenth. No, Just not put really. On part two, and you get all you need to know. About I mean, what let's be real. It's the same with Evil. Show. It's the same with Evil Dead Two. Yeah. But that's on purpose. Yes. Yeah. I mean, like, and it's like the ghost. So actively chose to do that. <laughs> yeah. It. But. I feel Taylor, like you were right about like, him. <laughs> I told you. He's like He's autistic for dead. fucking evil I'm dead. A, I'm a defender. <laughs> evil I'm dead. I'm a defender. Whore. Shit, dude. Just evil dead horror, bro. Hell yeah. Um, but yeah, man, I just like... God, Alice's dream sequence was so fucking annoying. Yeah. Well, the, 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 first, <laughs> the first like 10 to 15 minutes of the second one just completely contradicts the nightmare sequence of everything that happened. Oh at the yeah, end. we forgot to talk about the fact that Jason comes out of the fucking lake yeah. at the end, and we don't know if it's real or not because yeah. she's like the boy. I've also, never. She... Oh, you're good. Sorry. I've never thought about that. He's a child. They've been able to swim in that lake. How deep is the fucking lake Pro- the from from church. part what? To, which one is it? Five or six? Where he's chained underwater? I think it's five. Okay, that lake's deep as fuck. That's not Crystal Lake. There's no way he launched off the bottom to get airborne over a canoe. Well, obviously. 
he's turned into a mermaid. <laughs> no. That's water. more believable no. than him go- turning into a grown ass man so, in part like, two. I, I will say this: like one of the things I do like about part two is that we finally get some characters with some flesh to them. Right? Not a lot, but we get like At least one of our main characters. Yeah. Yeah, uh, the the uh, count the like lead assistant chick. I cannot remember her fucking name. Uh, um, I'm blanking. Pretty, I'm blanking. Yeah. I have it pulled up. Her name is Ginny. Amy Steele is who plays her. So Ginny's kind of cool because she has like a psychological, uh, like a psych background. And she's talking about like, you know, what if it is just a legend and all legends stems from a truth, right? So it has to be true. What if he didn't die? And what if he has been living in the woods? But the times don't make sense for him to be this fucking hulking man. Yeah. No. Um, unless they're trying to see like he's just a big ass teenager. And he's got hair. Yeah. He's got a lot of hair. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> he's, got fucking, he's got a lot of hair. Ginger that's locks. Beard. That's a big ass teenager, bro. Yeah, that's, that's a, a big, big ass teenager. Say. That shit's nuts. But yeah, I, I just uh, I'm glad that we get to see Alice get nixed in the beginning. She just gets ice picked. Yep. And she also <laughs> takes the world's quickest shower. World, <laughs> world's True. quickest. She turned the water on and so quickly got out. Was hardly even wet. <laughs> Literally was just done. also. Are we saying that Jason killed her? Like, how the fuck does this man know where she lives? He followed her like, home. We're working on this. There's no that... logic in this whole franchise. You're asking way too much. God damn it. <laughs> I gotta put I, you're right I gotta turn off the brain I gotta just this, yeah. because if you want to go there how did he learn how to shave for part three? Oh, God damn it. Hmm. who's teaching this man in the woods and also, whose clothes are those yes whose clothes are those and <laughs> his shack his little uh, little MTV <laughs> that, he, yeah he had to have built yep also, I said damn he's living he good eat? though <laughs> <laughs> right lavish what is he eating like, um, who trained him how to hunt? Who trained him how to fish? Um, Unless he eats the teenagers, but I don't think I don't think he's. A See, guy. that would make a lot more sense. Yeah, he's just fucking like why he's killing the why he's killing the camp counselors. Like, all right, for I need food, to eat. Yeah. yeah, and Daddy also straight as revenge. <laughs> Absolutely, hundred percent. Oh god, two birds and one stone. Um, but yeah, uh, just a quick little, as we always do, a little fucking background on this movie. Oh, this is five years after the events of the first film. So if you think about it, we're at 1980. Well, we're going to go based on the year, whatever. Uh, five years, so we're in 85, hypothetically. Um, Jason, I think, was killed two to five years in the before the events of Friday the 13th. So let's say he was probably 13 when he was died or 10. Did she say how old he was? I think she, I think if she does, it's time. really brief. Yeah. I, let's just say he's 10, right? I feel like camp 10, maybe 13. So five years. So Unless five. he's one of those weird kids that stayed at camp. <laughs> 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 they just left him there. That's My it. mom said that I, I'm really good at, at camp, so I would stay here. And I hadn't seen them in five years. <laughs> like, yeah, he got um, he got Joe Dirt. He got left at camp. <laughs> <laughs> That's why my mom needs Joe Dirt to a new record down there. Okay. <laughs> camp, campism, campism. Yeah, I just yes. uh, thirteen, five, eighteen. Another five years, but 22, 23. Like, I you mean, look like a 35 year old man. You that's... leapt through the window, bro. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think my takeaway, I wrote, I was like, hey, look at that. Cool ways of killing people that's not uh, a rope. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I also wrote, um, scene from Billy, also from Billy Madison. There we um, go. With, uh, w- oh, what's her fucking name? Is it Vicky? I think it's Vicky, the fucking one who decides to get, go skinny dipping halfway through the sh- uh, shit. I think it's Vicky or Sandra. It doesn't really fucking matter who they are. Uh, anyways, she's looking for her dog and decides that at, at that moment she needs to go get naked in the lake. Yeah. Uh, and I mean, it was like that scene from Billy Madison in the kindergarten. Where he's like, you get off your fucking ass and you find your fucking dog. <laughs> yeah. It's like, you don't deserve muffin. <laughs> you have you failed your duties to that dog. You just let it wander into the woods. And then we're not talking a fucking golden retriever or Rottweiler. We're talking a small little Pomeranian dog yep. just wandering in the woods by itself. And just like, you're going to keep just being like, yeah, it's missing, but I don't give a shit. You know, motherfucker. It's the meanest thing in this whole movie is them just letting that dog wander around to be killed or yeah, but the it's dog's not cruel, the dog's not the dog's not smoking or having sex. I don't think it's I think it's fine. 
Well, they do play on the <laughs> fact that like it does run up on Jason in the woods yeah. when they're going on the like hike, and like you think it's going to be killed, and it's not. He just pets it. Um, like, we also got a peaky. Jason just loves dogs. Yeah, he just loves dogs. We also got a peaky blinder in this movie. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I wrote down, I was like, dude, can someone please bully this kid into not wearing this hat anymore? Yes. I fucking can't take it. <laughs> can't take it. I will say there is a big misconception about this movie, though. Go ahead. Because Jason from part two is not the first bag head villain that we ever had. Town the Dreaded Sundown. Was 76. Ah. Uh, so it's, it's just, it's, again, off. it's back to being ripped off on everything. It's <laughs> just. <laughs> Oh yeah. Every yeah. every slasher has elements of a movie that has already been. Oh, I absolutely. like to think that they got a lot of shit for that and that's why we get hockey mask Jason. They're like, Oh we gotta change this up. Which is fine. Yeah. That's We're a better cheat for this. That's a better solution than fucking potato sack. Fucking Yeah. Well, mean, especially because like he has to keep adjusting it, but it's it goes back to that fucking scene from Django. <laughs> I can't see out this fucking thing. <laughs> My wife worked really hard on these. <laughs> Stretch out the eye holes. She's like, God damn it. Uh, See, I would have liked that so better funny. had he ripped the hole all the way across and it was yeah. just like a Cyclops thing. Yeah. Well, it's like also like, I mean, I, I, I know. Wow. God, Leatherface. When did Leatherface come out? 74. 74. So like, I, it's also pulling from that. The fact that like he has a deformity that he's hiding with this mask. And it's like, was Jason even cognizant of this? Of this, really, like you know, we since we don't have much background as him as a kid, ex- yeah, you know, we we don't understand. Like, was he bullied? Was he ridiculed? I mean, I'm sure, given the times, people weren't the greatest, but so yeah. But like Leatherface, like we know, like his family, like he was not comfortable with the way he looked. Hence, why he's wearing the fucking faces. Like, there's just a, a, again another loop where it's just like, why, why? Like, first off, how? There's not enough story in any of. And it's the like, pieces of this franchise. There's not. How the fuck does this have such a huge following? Because like, there's no background to anything. Like, well, and if you put two, every movie, it's like, how does Jason get anywhere? He ain't walking. Like, um, how does he goes to Manhattan? Him? That boat goes to Toronto. That ain't even <laughs> Manhattan. But how the fuck did you get there? Yeah, who, who's who's funding him? Who's giving this man money? Yeah. Is it Chandler? Chan, are you funneling money to Absolutely. Jason? Absolutely. <laughs> Jason said he needed a new real estate, and Chan was like, "I got yeah, you, fam." He said, he's like, "I got you. Don't worry." Also, okay. in, uh, I need you to drive. I need you to drive these market prices down for me. <laughs> in, uh, yes, all that makes sense. Yeah, mass murder, and then it drives down <laughs> housing, and then Chan's prices. like, "Yo, I got you." <laughs> That's it. Uh, That's oh, a man. great idea. Also, because uh, obviously at a time you don't have to disclose if anyone died there, so it works out. Yeah. <laughs> it's, that's when that's when they closed the camp. That was that brief period, but people had already heard about it at that point. Yeah. You know what would have been a great fucking intro to this movie? Minus Alice's fucking dream sequence recapturing everything we just seen. Even mind you, it's a year between movies. It's not like this so much time has passed. Background on what's going on with Jason. Like obviously he survived. That's right? That's the biggest like, question. Like, obviously, he didn't die in the lake. He's alive. Yeah. Jenny was right. So, like, could we get background on that? Like, not a shit ton. I'm not asking for a fucking, like, crazy backstory, but, like, maybe some events of, like, him maneuvering in the woods or, like, him coming out of the lake. Something. Give us something yeah. to make us understand why, after all these years, he's decided to come out. Because that means, what, what was he alive the yeah, one? Um, was he not alive? I mean, like he found the obviously he found the head. Could we have gotten that? Maybe him walking up to the lakefront, getting the head. Also, how did he get the head? Yeah, the police came. They would have bagged that as evidence. Like, how he did he get the head? head? A lot of head. Well, <laughs> all these answers, yeah, Ed Kemper style for all sure. These, all these questions will be answered in the CW series called Camp Crystal Lake. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> also, I'm very excited for it. Yeah, no, Listen, it's not going to be on CW, but they are making a Camp Crystal Lake show. Yeah, <laughs> well, yeah, we'll we'll see how it goes. Yeah, because oh, that would be your your reason to do a show is to yeah. give us the questions. origin that we didn't get. Yeah, yeah. And I know people hate origin stories; they love to hate them. But like, dude, it it is so fucking needed here. He, yeah, he Nightmare has the one to get job. an origin story. Leatherface gave us a great job of origin story. I mean, like, we've gotten some deep, like, only one that, who doesn't need it. No, not even Scream. We get an origin story. Yeah, they and we got Hellraiser, too. Why? Exactly. So it's yeah. just like, this is what this whole fucking franchise is missing, I think. 
And that's why none of it makes sense when you watch these movies, because we have never had any solid yeah. background information on any of the character to like lead us to understand like why he's doing what he's doing. I, I, I mean, obviously going back to what we were talking about, I would have rather just seen him come out of the lake and walk into the woods. Exactly. And then grow. It, like <laughs> give us a 30 second sequence of him walking into the woods and you're like, where's he going? Clearly where's he's he not going? dead. What boy? We never found him because now he's in the woods. Exactly. He's hiding. He's, like, he's hiding up in MTV his. Cribs, uh... Check out my shack. <laughs> <laughs> over here is my fucking hole. <laughs> and over here is my, my head. <laughs> yeah. Here's my mom. This is my station. sanctuary to my mom. <laughs> head station goes so hard. <laughs> Oh man, Chandler! Any uh, locations you can suggest that have a prime spot for head station? My house. <laughs> <laughs> nice. oh, they call man. they call my house the head station. You know what I mean? I got you, bro. God I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, um, Pat, what you got for us? What you think? Uh, shit, <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is more shit. You know, uh, you know Just how we thought we were going to torture Dylan with this? You're torturing me too. <laughs> I thought I was going to be the only one who didn't like this franchise. Fuck no, 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 no. I oh, hate no, this dude, shit. No. <laughs> yeah, look, I, I, I am very interested in what Dylan has to say yeah, about this. I used, to, I used to fucking hang out with this kid that was a Jason fan. I, we used to get in arguments all night long of just how bad this movie, these movies are. What was his reasoning? Like, he's fucking the kills. Arguments? He's like, the kill count is what matters. I'm like, shut it's up. It's not even the highest know. kill count. So It's not. So in the yeah. first movie, we have 10. In this movie, there's nine. So collectively, in the first movies, there are 19 kills. In... How many does he have total? Oh, I haven't done that yet. I do a by movie count and then I do a shout out to like Dead Meat. Dead no. Meat. Because I can almost guarantee the collector has more kills than half these slashers. Absolutely. The Dude, the collector alone. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. alone. <laughs> Just alone on the, Just funny, in the club. The, club scene, the yeah. first opening scene in the collection, yeah, he kills at least 200 plus people. Absolutely. Literally. Talk yeah. about a fucking another OG uh, original fucking badass uh, movie. Underrated as fuck. Yes. Yep. So good. Have you guys ever seen the. Um, the director's cut alternate ending uh, of collector. collector. Uh, well, there's so one the where collector. he escapes and then the other one, it's like, a. I think I've seen it. I just can't remember it's what the happens. One, so like the action movie, like what happens with the main character, but there's an alternate ending where he actually gets out of the house. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And he like, as he does in the movie, but he, and he sees the girl knocking on the window. And he just flicks her off. And, <laughs> and that's how the movie ends. I, like, Dude, I, I that's that. a very Eli Roth ending. Yeah. Yeah. I for sure. I like, if that would have been the ending to that movie, I would have fucking died. <laughs> <laughs> are we supposedly getting a third one or i know it was canceled but then i heard uh, app apparently it's it. being not shopped but it's being written right now Listen, okay good it fucking make it you know i'm Patrick, saying say your things because every time you talk about something being made it and it gets announced it gets announced within a week so go ahead yeah. and put that in the air for us yeah have you have you guys heard about the batman beyond movie that was going to be made uh yeah the artwork <laughs> looks fucking sick yeah <laughs> It's going to be any moment back. now we're going to get that announcement. Yeah. That's fine. Just I'll wait. take it. Just wait. You, you, you don't understand. Welcome to the Horror what? Junkies we, podcast where we talk about yeah. better movies than what we're actually talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I need that um, on a shirt. That's sick. <laughs> yeah. Uh, th there's <laughs> we, we need that on a shirt, and then the other one is too fat to read, and it's just <laughs> a fucking blob watching movies shoveling food in its mouth. Can, can you uh, put the like the like um, like the melted couch girl? On the shirt, we can put whatever we you oh, want. The on the drug shirt, girl, Sean. you tell us. <laughs> that shit goes so oh, I hard. Did weed once, and now I'm flat. <laughs> um, true, any favorite kill scenes of this movie, guys? I mean, this movie again doesn't really like. At least we get like a background legend story, and that's about it. Um, I, I love the the wheelchair kill where he, where he run words where yes. he rolls down the stairs. Out front. I love the setting yeah. for part two. Okay. That it's like way up on the hill and she can barely get her fucking car up there. And he's in a wheelchair, so he's automatically fucked. Dude, that chick was trying to get, get the D from him. Like, hard. Yeah. She was. <laughs> she looked at that man, winked at him, and was like, I'll see you in five minutes. And Jason said, he's going to get the D from me. <laughs> um, I, just, I think my favorite scene is the hammer claws of the head. The hammer claws sick, the yeah. Cop. Dude, that, I was like, that's fucking brutal. That's a brutal kill. That's a bad way to go. My favorite scene is where you take this movie out of the DVD player and you put it in the burning instead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, fair. Better movie. It is a better movie. 
I, I don't disagree. I mean, e- I'd either rather watch Victor Crawley, the Hatchet. Dude, movies. I'd yeah, watch yeah, yeah, all yeah. the Hatchet films. Yeah, all of them. Just Every one of funny. them. And like, <laughs> agreed. Like, oh man, Adam Green know. can make whatever the fuck he wants, yep. and I'll watch it. <laughs> agreed. <laughs> like even digging up the Morrow is an okay. God, film, so good. Yeah. Um, and we got man. Jason to run in this movie. That's cool. He did. He did run. Yes. He did run. I mean, he doesn't run a lot in the other ones. He just walks briskly. Yeah. Um, he's, he's. I like when he's walking through walker. Manhattan. Though. Well, that's the funniest one. That's, oh yeah, absolutely iconic. That's, that's also that's also why Hatchet's great though, because yeah. fucking Crowley would just come at you and go, ah, ah, and just like you're just terrified to shit because this massive object is just running at you <laughs> with no intent of just other than I'm gonna murder you. I, I yep. need to kill you. I, like, I need to kill you now. It's like the only purpose in life is I'm going to kill you. Thank you very much. Um, which movie is it? I'm trying to think of the Jason movie where he has the um, like weed whacker blade saw thing. Uh, is, that is that part three? six? Yeah. Is that six? Oh, no, me. hang on. Part 22. There it is. Part 22. Jason goes to heaven. Jason, um, Jason uh, comes in your butt. <laughs> He's Version coming. 22. He coming hard. He's coming. He's coming. Uh, Friday the 13th, 2022. I don't remember, honestly. Part twenty four, my machete is my cock. Yes. <laughs> so what we've done is we've we branched off. And you guys didn't know this that you, there's Jason <laughs> porns that you can go and watch, oh, yeah. and they are on part they're twenty two. What Chandler just said is a real movie. And if you sign up um, for a Patreon for the Horror Junkies at night, we'll review it. <laughs> at night, we'll review your favorite horror porno um, parody parodies i mean funny <laughs> enough this was this was like three years ago at this point uh when we started our podcast um we did a weapons episode where we talked about leatherface having a chainsaw where the blade was covered in mini dildos amazing and it was amazing. flick the bean till you die <gasps> i love that <laughs> does it run on lube or does it run on gas uh blood it runs on cum oh. <laughs> cum and blood <laughs> <laughs> It runs oh, on lady God. chunks. <laughs> I hate that. that no. uh, Jesus. I'm going to go vomit. <laughs> <laughs> Fl- fleshy lady chunks. Yeah. You know? I love that. <laughs> oh, man. Um, I, I don't... Listen, guys. I, it's the fucking Friday the 13th movies. If you're here for detailed plop... Um, oh, I'm sorry. We can't give it to you. Because to the culture... <laughs> Um, and like what this movie, what this movie did was, um, it made some money and decided to consistently make films, um, up until the point where someone said, you know, what's a good idea. Jason needs to go to space. Like, I need you to understand someone did a line of cocaine and immediately said, Jason goes to space in a direct, and a studio was like, write it. This here's, is pretty much here's all, the budget. What, and so was yeah. Good. And then every Never studio made. after was like, they have to go to space. Yes. I were waiting for Jigsaw to go to space. <laughs> if, if, if Saw give it, 11 give it, is like, not two more Jigsaw in space it's I not, swear to god it's not going to be him though it's just going to be Billy the puppet the whole exactly. time yeah, so course. they just send Billy the whole time up there and he doesn't talk or anything it's just Billy floating in space from time, time to time you've always had your eyes in the radio clouds. transmissions now you're going to be in the clouds <laughs> <laughs> head in space or we can, you've come here today. If they've got the budget, they can build like a little lunar lander with like a bubble on top, and then Billy's head just like sticks out the top. There it is. <laughs> I like that. Again, everything is in delay because like the time it takes for it to count down and transmit, the timing is always off. So it's actually just people dying immediately because Jigsaw doesn't understand the capabilities of time. To space. be to be fair, Saw just proved that a later installment in a franchise can work. Oh, you liked it. Saw X. Oh, Saw yeah. X was great. It's like a, oh. it's like the opposite. You like the new Tex- <laughs> Hold on. You like the new Texas Chainsaw, and you didn't like Saw X. I had a fun. time Your brain it. is fucked. <laughs> Listen, I enjoyed the movie, but I am so done with Saw movies. So and am I. I. Mean, so am I. Mean, I. Yeah. Trust so me. Done with them. So am I. But it was still a good film for what it was. It was better than Jigsaw. Just, <laughs> it's better than. Oh, God, it better than it's better than Spiral. It's better oh, than everything no, after five. Yep. Spiral was a good movie. No, it was not. Shut it up. was so good. <laughs> I'm starting. To, I'm starting to think you should take a horror out of your name. Horror. 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 Like, what, your hot takes are throwing me here. <laughs> it's what we got, brother. What's, what's your What's your biggest hot take in a horror film? I need to know. I've never thought about it. 
You gotta have. Well, you already named about four. So <laughs> you gotta have some. I just say things, um, and then it is what it is. Um, but like, there's got to be something that you're like, this is an absolute hot take. I have I a few. I don't have. I don't know. Honestly, I I've never sat down and thought about it. Man. I really don't. Fro, do you have any? Oh, you know mine. <laughs> I forgot yours. I talked about it with someone today. Do I have any hot takes? Yeah. I think all my pins yeah. are hot takes. <laughs> <laughs> That's just him as an Hot and movie. ready. Let's go. Yeah. Um, I think. Uh, the only no, one I, that don't. gets everyone is the lighthouse thing. That's wild to me because that, that, that doesn't, under, that doesn't make sense fair. because. Thank you. Someone that understands. People watch it. <laughs> Like but, I no, will, I, I, I will it. never, I will never sit down and watch the lighthouse again. Yeah, I just, yeah, I just don't understand. Like, I just don't hear enough people talk about it to feel like that it is a hot take. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I just feel like. Well, every time I say, I fucking say like when, when someone's talking about the lighthouse, I'm like, yeah, I didn't like that movie. They're like, <gasps> oh, I think like for me, like I enjoyed Ms. Samar, and I think a lot of people just like like the shit on that movie. I shit on that see, movie. I didn't I, like that movie. See, yeah. ironically, I hear the opposite. So like, no, I, I, I hear more. People talk about Midsommar than talk about Hereditary, and see, I'm like, no, I think Hereditary, Hereditary is the much better. Fi- see, I True, know people who is. just, I know but so I many people. Her- who- I still love Midsommar. I think it's I mean, a fun fucking film. Yeah, yeah. Hereditary. Yeah, piece. we both have Hereditary tattoos. <laughs> so it's like, Payment. like it's just a matter of I hear more people shit on Hereditary than anything. Yeah, that's Which crazy. Is wild to me. Yeah, we hear the. Are, are you guys in that horror movie addicts Facebook group that we're in? No, man, you want to see some real bad takes. I haven't been on Facebook in uh, probably seven years. These people are rating the bye bye man like a 10 out of 10. What the fuck? Yeah, dude, there's hereditary post in there every day. Be like worst movie ever made. You're like, how? And there's never an explanation. These these can't be horror fiends. Then (laughs) these have to be mainstream audiences. Yeah, because they're they're trolling. I, I had a kid this week tell me I don't know shit about shit because I said any movie is better than a Serbian film. Any movie is better than uh, a Serbian and he film. also said a Every and he also said a Serbian, a Serbian film. film is underrated and overlooked. For what? For what? Because you like to fucking edge yourself to fucking torture porn. I guess well, it's a lost profits the movie. Yeah, yeah I just don't like, it's like I, last I, I just train don't home. It, it, I think I think that, that lies in maybe I guess uh, if you consider it a hot take. Like I, I I hate fucking people that are edge lords um, that My- think that because they watch films like a Serbian <laughs> film or. Um, anything that goes down to where it's just borderline smut torture dude, porn, dude, that you're it, a superior film no, viewer, and you're like, mm, if I hear mm. one more fucking person on TikTok who's a big horror creator, oh, like there's yeah. multiple who say disturbing movies to watch or like most disturbing films, and they Serbian list film. a Serbian, Serbian film, centipede. I'm like, human centipede too. Like it's the most overrated <laughs> disturbing film of all time. Let me let me do my thing. Let me do my chills. Oh, let's go. Disturbing movies. I've watched today that you could watch also. A suburban film. Number 13. Get the fuck out of here, dude. Uh, you didn't 13. say legend or epic one time. Yeah. Oh, shit. Sorry. Legend. <laughs> Chills. Epic one is number 13. But you're right, Chandler. No, I think <laughs> my biggest hot take is that I hate these, like, these people that have these huge accounts that, like, that's not a hot take. Thousands though. of you, you would be surprised because a lot of people like to take on their arms and support these people and what they're saying. Yeah, yeah they do. Like, again, it, I, I, I don't like. They're not films. Like they're not good movies. Stop. There are decent movies out there that borderline, you know, grab the fence of like being a crazy, gory, blood-filled mu- movie that isn't just like pure on fucking like Cannibal Holocaust is not a good movie. It's not a good movie. It's it's, it's a shock film for the time, it's a for shock sure. Yeah. Film for the time. That's it's, all it is. It's better than Green Inferno. <laughs> it's definitely better than Green Inferno. Fuck it's that movie. Better than Green Inferno. But Most all the Eli Roth's films are just remakes of other films. They are. You they, do they understand are. that, right? Yep. Yeah. No. They, they really Green Inferno is a remake of Cannibal Holocaust. Knock Knock is a remake of Death Game. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. it's literally all his. What about Clown? Hey, well, he didn't direct Clown. I know. He produced it. <laughs> he Ooh. produced it. Yeah. Um. Bang. <laughs> you know your shit. I'm just testing you. <laughs> oh, yeah, Mike, speaking on your point, I had a – I don't know if I ever told you this. Chan knew because he was there in real time. This kid oh, argued with me on a Twitter post. This is back when it was still Twitter, by the way, for six Twitter. hours. Why did you even and told brain capacity? <laughs> because it's funny to shit on people like that. This kid told me because I like universal horror, I'm not loyal to the gore. 
because he's seen Spider Baby, and I told him no one gives a fuck about a movie ten people have seen. What the fuck, Spider Baby? What the fuck is Spider Baby? (laughs) Exactly. That's what I'm saying. This kid told me I was not loyal to the gore because I like anything that's got that's a that. big ultimate following that is what the fuck does that loyal the to the ultimate edge lord yeah. i'm gonna get that i'm getting that on a shirt loyal please do to the gore. because like what does that even mean uh like, i don't what, know honestly i still have the screenshot somewhere i'll send them to you good good that's fucking hilarious but like i don't know man i don't really have hot takes i mean i say things that i i think i just think of like you know i i, what, I, I okay, like what's what's a horror movie you love that most people don't Oh God! What are we talking? It's got to be on this podcast before, um, or vice versa. A movie you hate that most people love. I don't know. That, man. That's probably easier. Yeah. <laughs> Mine's easy. What is it? I'm trying to think. I don't like The Shining. Ooh. <laughs> uh, you know what though? I, I think Doctor Sleep's a better movie. But 100. percent I agree. The Shining. <laughs> I think that's probably what it is. Like I enjoy like, the Shining is, is long. Fist. Dylan's fucking. He's the Arthur Fist right now. He can just feel it. The Shining is like one of his favorite films. The Shining does good things in the sense of like set design and, and cinematography. And cinematography, hundred percent. I, I think it's a boring movie. It, I agree. That, it, it's really drawn out for sure. Did, 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 have you ever read the book? Out. It's boring. No, uh, I've not read the book. Okay. I think Stephen King also, and this is this is my hot take. He didn't. He didn't yeah, he doesn't like it. I know. No. Um, not only that, I think he's an overrated writer. Um, yeah. I don't think he is I think one he's, of the... I almost think he's quantity over quality. Yeah. Exactly. He yeah. Has, he, he writes books all the fucking time, and it's just like, and not everything about, he comes out with is phenomenal, I think. But no, I agree with you. I, Doctor Sleep is a way better movie. Speaking of movies that are not good, we didn't rate part two. We kind of went on a tangent, so let me just ring this back onto that. Um I'm going to give part two a two. <laughs> I'm, I'm keeping with my twos. Um, and I feel like it's going to be a trend throughout this entire fucking series. <laughs> I give it half a point. <laughs> <laughs> I give it half a point, brother. John. Two. <laughs> Chandler. <laughs> point one and a half. <laughs> yeah. I'll give it a one and a half. Like, God, one and a half we are two. off on a good start, man. I th- like we ended. We did fucking Nightmare on Elm Street. Part one and two, and it was like four, five, five, four. <laughs> I don't give many movies like, like in that four to five range. It, it's got to take something. I tell you, really man. I think the movie we gave each one of us gave a solid five was let, let the right one in. Um, that is a solid fucking film. Absolutely. The original, one, one not the, the remake. Old, the original, one, honestly, one of the only remakes I respect. Yeah, no, no, I'm talking about the original. The remake is really good, but no, I'm talking I'm about saying, the actual. I don't know. Let me in. Is yeah. a, a a cons like a decent American remake? Yeah. Oh I yeah, will say it's okay. The original is one of my favorite vampire films. Oh, I, another one of my hot takes is that I I fucking hate American remakes of uh, foreign films. It's not really because they're awful. That's not, a, that's not a hot take. Most I, American you, remakes you are dog shit. That, that is not a hot that, take. That's not a hot fuck, take. Uh, Dylan. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's, it's not, not a hot take. It's just my attack on Dylan because he, he fucking loves them. Like when like they announced what? the Train on Busan was getting a remake, I was like, I was enraged. I was like, How yeah, that movie you? is going to be awful. Awful. They, they announced that. Good Night, Mommy was the most unnecessary Horrible. fucking yep. American remake ever. Um, let's see here. I'm trying to think of all... Martyrs is dog shit. American dog shit. Remake. Mm-hmm. Old Boy. Dog, dog shit. American Bad. remake. Funny Games. Funny. Oh, no. No, uh, that's, no, 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 no. You're right. I just thought that, about it. I was like, no, wait, no, a minute, wait a minute, Mike, wait a minute. Mike, Michael Haneke did both of those films. <laughs> yeah, no, and they're shot the for shot the same. The so same. I honestly like both movies of those. Yeah, we did an episode on both movies. Yeah, we did both. Sorry. We watched both funny games. I love funny games. Have you guys ever seen? Uh, it's a Benny's video. Uh, one of his so his film before Funny Games. So it's the same actor who plays one of the characters in Funny Games, one of the killers, and he's younger. Mm-hmm. Um, that movie is so fucking just disturbing in its own <laughs> right, and but it's for like this creepy ass. It's almost like sort of analog driven. Yeah, um, there you go. and it, it's watch that shit. That's yeah. one of like Haneke's like older films, and it's uh, it's so. Ugh. At least you're just feeling it. shitty. It's yeah. just very dreadful, <laughs> very dreadful film. But as a director, I think he's very underrated. Actually, in the horror community, true. I'll have to check it out. And nice. also, our listeners, check out all these weird movies that fucking Sean and Chandler are watching. <laughs> they watch a lot of weird things. If you've never watched their show or listened to it, they're always watching some weird, bizarre movie that you probably never watched before. 
Uh, so definitely check them out because it's hilarious. <laughs> well, he just uh, watches a bunch of weird ass slashers. That oh, I love it. Heard of. I watch a bunch of foreign shit. So yeah. it's like you get you get a mix. nice mixture. We just watch whatever the fuck we decide that we want to watch, yeah. and it's usually just some random shit. We're getting close Nothing to doing. We're, we're getting close to doing our Tokyo Gore Police review. Mm-hmm. Love Jeez. that. Oh, watch watch fucking me, Pinocchio. Pinocchio uh, uh, nine six four. The, uh, nine six. Dude, <clears throat> yeah, I know which one. That. F- fucking movie <laughs> it's just <laughs> it's hard Japanese. to describe japanese horror at its finest oh, isn't it pinocchio it's, but if he was a, a sex worker yes yeah but sure. no one has sex in that whole movie Good. not a <laughs> single person that's we're not here for um that. and here he also turns into mustard horror. and uh there's also like a 10 minute puke scene in a subway yeah um like that not a not a subway is. restaurant like an actual like subway like subway, subway. It, yeah. um if I had to describe Japanese horror to anyone, I it's would make them watch that. that yeah, because uh, that is just. Like... I heard uh, the the interesting part about that film or that movie was the scenes where he's running down the streets. Is like no one knew what was going on. Yeah, no, yeah, no. and they, he's they, dragging so a, and he's dragging a concrete block on a chain. Yeah, yeah, they amazing. didn't tell anybody. So the reactions of all the people around are real. amazing. I love that. I love that movie. Damn it. Fucking wild. Yeah, we got also, that. We have uh, we have Meatball Machine that we have to watch as well. <laughs> Great. Oh, yeah. Meatball oh, Machine. but have either of you, because I had him watch it recently, have you guys seen Evil Dead Trap? No. no. Also good. Evil Dead Trap is like Evil Dead 2 and Blair Witch, but it's Japanese. Amazing. Sold. It's, I'll it's watch it. Great. I'm sold. Wasn't there the a, uh, There was wild. another one on, on Shudder that was kind of like that. It was like a kid streaming at a haunted house. I forgot what it was called. But it was like a Evil Dead, Dead Stream. Dead Stream. Dead Stream. Yeah. Dead Stream. Oh, that's yeah. a top ten, baby. Yeah, like that, that movie absolutely rocks. You gotta watch that. That's a the, good fucking. Movie. That was a great. The first ten minutes, you're like, this dude sucks, <laughs> and then you watch the rest, you're like, this shit is great. <laughs> this shit is great. Um, but no, dude. Uh, so part one, part two, Friday the Thirteenth. Yeah. <laughs> we've we're, we've opened the fucking book, man. We've opened Pandora's box and now we have we've dug our grave and we have to fucking see this through. Can we just talk about let the right one in again instead of <laughs> <laughs> I just god damn it. I am so in uh enraged that we've decided to do this and I'm not looking forward to watching three through nine. Um I'm, I'm here not, for ten. I see I think I think you're lying. I think I think you're lying. They're I'm fun. Happy. I'm gonna I, I think it better. I mean they, they get more money, that's why. They get more, more, the more money, and we get the idea, you know, the actual image that we love to see of Jason in the next yeah. film and throughout the rest of the series. It's these first two that kind of like, you know, they get you in. You're like, you're, you're enticed, but it's not enough to keep me buying. I'm we'll wondering see. why they never made a Pamela mask. Because that would have been sick. No one cares about Pamela. That's I the do. The reality of the truth. No one cares about her. And that's and it's sad, she's just she's a the, mom doing her job. Exactly. I mean, I mean not like, not watching her, her kid, not that part, but like yeah. I mean, the after without part. her, you don't have a franchise, right? Like she's the start off. She's the the mother of this franchise, and it's the reason why we have all these movies. But yeah. that first God. movie just wasn't even. No, big. I don't know how it, it got enough hype. Like I would love to watch like theater reactions. Uh, yeah, like Friday the Thirteenth when it first came out, and see what people's first, like responses were. Yeah, because like, or ju- even no just way. the audio, you get to the end and it's just her, and they're like, "What the fuck? <laughs> the fuck <is laughs> what do you mean Jason's not in this movie?" Just, just like, so you just hear, <laughs> "Oh, brother, this guy stinks!" And, you just, and that's it. That's <laughs> that's the audio from the fucking the eighties. <laughs> Um, but no, I hope you guys are, you know, enjoyed the episode. You know, it was, it was fucking amazing having Sean and Chandler on this. Like, again, we've been dying to have you guys on. I know you guys have been wanting to join the show. Agreed. Um, so, so glad you guys came on. Make sure you check out their podcast. I'll link it in the show notes. Um, but as always guys, grab us on the socials, TikToks, follow us both. Everything will be in the notes. Just go down and click on it. Um, if you do a different episode on, you know, something I, I enjoy. Next Absolutely. 100%. 100%. Night killer we'll- review. We'll I'll do. Kill you. We'll do something fucking. You can pick the movie, Chandler. How about that? So we, you, you can pick the one movie that you you want us all to watch, and we will review and talk. Oh, this about is it. gonna be fun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, FYI, the gorier the better, it, uh, because it makes Dylan happy. Okay, hundred tears. We'll just watch that. And oh boy. <laughs> all I hear is Dylan texting us right now, being like, "You son of a bitch." <laughs> Um, but yeah, guys, make sure you follow both shows. Check us out. I mean, wherever you find podcasts, you can find our shows. Um, if you haven't joined our Patreon, fucking do it. We're so close. We're so close. 
God damn it, we only need three more people to join. And, we get to and then we're live streaming Dylan watching Tokyo Gore Police. No, excuse me, Terrifier Yeah, 2. we already did Tokyo Gore Police. Oh, I forgot. We already done Tokyo Gore Police. Does it's, he not like, like, gory No, he films? fucking hates gory movies. <laughs> what does he like watching? Uh, the Shining. <laughs> <laughs> not wrong. He likes The Shining, and he likes, um, he likes, he likes Alien and Exorcist. He loves Exorcist 3. Damn. That so he, dude. As he, he shuts. Loves he won't watch anything with gore in it. Like oh, that no, no, we no, make him. No. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> We make him, and by the default, our listeners make him because we always have votes to make them let Dylan watch a movie that he hates. Yeah. Interesting. So it's actually our torture show. Uh, it's Horror Junkies torturing Dylan. That's always what it's always been, and it always will be that. <laughs> Not mad at it. No. Um, but yeah, so you follow our shows. Fucking follow us on Patreon. Subscribe. Help us do this. It's a live stream of Olive Garden. Uh, <laughs> and then what? a live stream of... Yeah. Dude, we have crazy ideas. Okay. There's an Olive Garden live stream and then followed by Terrifier 2. Alfredo uh, Boat Watch Party. <laughs> exactly. You um, get it. And then, as always, guys, I'm Mike. I'm Pat. Hey, I'm Sean. <laughs> <laughs> ah! ah! There it is. Until next guy, next time, guys. Stay weird. Show you.